A microphone preamp, also known as a mic pre, can be found in almost every recording studio or live sound system. A mic preamp boosts the level of the signal before it's sent to a recording device or mixer, and this is necessary because microphones produce very weak signals, known as mic level, which typically ranges from about minus 60 to minus 40 dBV. The preamp helps to amplify the signal to a level that can be properly recorded, processed, or amplified throughout your signal chain. In addition to mic level audio, it's also important to understand instrument level and line level. Instrument level audio is slightly greater than mic level audio and is produced by instruments such as electric guitars. It typically ranges from about minus 40 to minus 20 dBV. Line level is the standard for professional equipment like mixers, amplifiers, and outboard gear at around zero dBV. As previously mentioned, a preamp can be used to bring a mic level signal or an instrument level signal up to a line level signal for mixing. It's important to note that these ranges are just rough estimates and the actual level of the signal can vary depending on the specific device or instrument that's being used. In any case, a basic understanding of mic level, instrument level, and line level is important in order to properly record, process, and amplify audio signals. Mic preamps are often built into audio interfaces and mixing consoles, but you can also integrate outboard preamps into your system. In the case of an outboard preamp, you'll connect the microphone directly to the preamp and then connect the output of the preamp to a line level input on your mixer or your audio interface. You'll find both solid state and tube based preamps and each has its own distinct sound. Solid state preamps are known for their clean, transparent sound, while tube preamps tend to add warmth and character to the signal. One important feature of a high quality mic preamp is to provide clean, low noise gain to the signal. The circuitry in a preamp is designed to minimize any unwanted electrical noise and hum, and this is especially important when recording vocals or other quiet instruments, as even the slightest bit of noise can ruin an otherwise great recording. As you layer or stack multiple tracks, this noise can add up. So while a noisy preamp may not be an issue for a single track recording, it can become more and more noticeable and more and more problematic in multi-track sessions. As you increase the gain knob on a mic preamp, the signal level increases, but so does the level of the noise within that signal. Fortunately, most modern preamps have extremely low inherent noise levels, so it's less of an issue than it used to be. Another important role of a mic preamp is to shape the sound coming from the microphone or the instrument. Some preamps are incredibly transparent, meaning that they don't have a large effect on the tonality of the signal passing through them, and other preamps may have a very noticeable effect on the frequency balance or other sonic characteristics of a recording. This can be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on the situation. The right preamp on the right instrument can add color and flavor to your recording, and this can be especially useful when recording a variety of instruments or sources, as it allows you to fine-tune the sound to fit the context of the overall mix. Having a collection of different mic preamps gives you more control over the sound of your microphones and instruments and allows you to shape the tone and character of each signal to suit the needs of that specific project. Because modern preamps are so high quality, you can create professional sounding results with even the most affordable preamps. However, upgrading your preamp could provide you with more gain, more headroom, less distortion, less noise, and an overall improvement of the sound quality that can help you take your project to the next level. Let me know about your favorite mic preamp and how you like to use it in the comments below. If you're serious about making music, you won't want to miss this next video where I'm going to show you how to improve your ears for recording and mixing. I'll see you over there.